the men's 400 meters. Richardson of Great Britain, Horton of Jamaica, Pettigrew, USA, Cardenas, Mexico. The great Michael Johnson going in lane five. That's Cardenas, who smashed the Mexican record with 44-37 in his semi-final. Michael Johnson, so impressive in his semi-final, 43-92, easing up. Can this be the day? Because conditions are ideal in Sydney when he can challenge that 11-year-old world record of Butch Reynolds. Outside Johnson, Jerome Young, Satellite Perella, and Jamie Balch. So conditions in Seville, absolutely perfect. The weather is hot, ideal for sprinting. There's no wind. So Richardson, Horton, Pettigrew, the winner of 1991. Cardenas, Johnson, Young, Perella, and Balch. Need five of these men in the last World Championship final. So off they go. Michael Johnson quickly into that distinctive style in lane five. Cardenas running well inside him in lane four. And Cardenas is perhaps up, but there's not much to choose between the men and the stagger at the moment. Johnson is running, though, well on the as he comes into the bend, and he's perhaps gaining a little bit on Jerome Young outside him. Sandalai Perella of Brazil in lane seven is strong. And here comes Johnson, running superbly around the bend, as always. He's going to take the lead. Jerome Young in USA is second to Perella. But Johnson is stretching away from this field. Michael Johnson with Jerome Young in second place. All the runners close up behind him. But Michael Johnson is going away. Away from this field he goes. And he wins it. Perella comes through for second. Cardenas is third as Jerome Young ties up. And he's done it. He's got that world record. Michael Johnson, the three-time, now four-time world champion, the double Olympic champion at 200 and 400. He has the world record with that stunning 1932 in Atlanta for 200 meters. Now at last, surely the greatest ever 400 meter runner has completed his portfolio by taking the world record as well as achieving all these wins. A truly superlative run by Michael Johnson. And I know this whole crowd is absolutely on their feet. It's above, he won by such a huge margin from the rest of the cream of the world and now at last he's got the world record as well steve that was wonderful well i think you can see the joy in michael johnson's face this world record has eluded him far too long and i think as peter pointed out the conditions here in the seville stadium perfect for an attempt on that world record but going into the championships i don't think anybody thought that michael johnson was in that sort of shape in the heats he looked okay in the semi-finals he looked absolutely unbelievable easing down in 43 92 and then there was talk Maybe Johnson will go for the world record. Maybe he can do it. But this time, when all the conditions were right, Michael Johnson poured everything into that race. And the official times come through. It's yet a hundred faster. 43.18.11 faster than Reynolds. He's staggering around a little bit there. He must be tired. But I've never seen Michael Johnson grin so much. Usually impassive. But that was something which he desperately wanted. Butch Reynolds' world record, as I said, has eluded him for so long. In the Olympics, he had the uh, option of doing the, just the 400 meters, but he took the two and the four, and he got both medals. But in doing so, I think, tired himself for an attack on that world record. He tried desperately. But here today at the World Championships, Michael Johnson did everything right. He absolutely blitzed the rest of this field. He was so far in front, we didn't really have a chance to look back to see what was going on behind him. Watch this. Coming off the bend, he was at least six or seven metres. And then I think this is where Michael Johnson decides, I want this record. That upright start, a little pitter-patter stride is just taking him away from the rest of the world. He is in a different league. This, the greatest 400 metre runner the world has ever seen. And as Peter said, this world record finishing off the portfolio. There is no stress. There is only determination. It's relaxation and then the realization that he gets the world record. Let's just watch this. He's coming up to the line in a minute. He's working all the way. He's not easing down. And let's just watch him look across and just take a glimpse of that time. There it is. There's the glance. And what's the reaction? Yep. WR, world record for Michael Johnson. Well, let's just look behind him as well. Jerome Young, it was here in the second place clearly at the moment, but he ties up and two men go past him, two men who've already set personal best in these championships and are going to improve yet again. Two newcomers. It's Sandalai Perella of Brazil and it's Alejandro Cardenas of Mexico who take the other medals. 
a long way behind this great champion, one of the greatest athletes the world has ever seen, Michael Johnson, now four times champion of the world at 400 meters. And most importantly for him, he has got that world record which he's been threatening for so long. Young was fourth, Pettigrew, Richardson, Horton and Balch completing a classic, a classic race.